I can't wait for September 7th, y'all. I want to see who else is going to be on this list. And let me tell you something. I really hope that the other political parties that are putting forward candidates are putting forward some really strong candidates. The city is not a big, not a small city. We're a major metropolis in South Africa on the continent. And I'm interested to observe um, the debates that will come forward. As I said to you yesterday, I think that Brett Heron is an exceptional administrator. I believe that Jordan Hill Lewis is an exceptional parliamentarian. He will have to show me, all of us, uh, how he will cut his teeth uh, as an administrator, which I don't think he has experience in the way that Brett does. But I will say this, as far as the contestation of ideas goes, I'm already very excited for a very interesting set of, um, a very interesting um, race up ahead. I hope that the DA, well, I think they don't have a choice. It's not like they're internal debates, so they'll allow him to debate. I hope to host a lot of debate. And I hope we don't have, you know, it's so great to see the country shifting away from, yeah, capitalist, yeah, you know, whatever the shouting that used to happen in parliament, um, uh, Zuma must go, capitalist, whatever. We're going to have a contestation of ideas. And I am, it's going to be a thriving discussion that we're going to have for the coming months. I hope you will participate. I hope you'll hold us accountable. I hope you'll send in your questions. I hope they'll be tough. Because I can tell you, Jordan Hill Lewis and Brett Heron, at the very least, are able to take those. And then I'm very excited for the other parties to tell us who they're going to bring into the ring. And I'm not going to take slogans. That's not going to work. I feel very strongly about that. Breakfast with Rifilo Emolato on Cape Talk 105.4.